So the 27.0 update has come to BTC6, bringing new cosmetics, bug fixes, and less important things. But today, I want to focus on these small additions like Paragons and this boss balloon called Balloonarius, the Inflator. The Balloonarius was added because Ninja Kiwi hates humans and no other reason. So now, I must defend humanity from the New Zealand army and fight the Big Blonde. But first, we need to get Churchill for good damage and so he can recolonize New Zealand later. Now the first 40 rounds are quite simple, just a normal game of monkey medals on medium, but it's raining. Which means the monkeys will have to fight with wet feet, or even worse, wet shoes. All we have to do is rush Churchill, greed, and, and wait, is that, is that Foxfire Fungi? Whoa! I think I should look at these paragons that nobody talked about. Ooh, what's this? Glaive Dominus, which is Latin for Master. Sounds cool, give it to me. Whoa, former can on top of the other upgrades. I hope it just uses a gun instead of boomerangs. And what about the Dart Monkey? Apex Plasma Master. Too many words, give it to me. Wow, I have not seen that before. That's very cool. Okay, one round before the Balloon Ares comes out. I bet I'll have like lasers and guns and cool rocket boosters. Oh, it's just a dinosaur balloon. So the leaks were right. No lasers. What should I do while it vomits green balloons? Oh yeah, Jitsu and a Sticky Bomb, those do damage, right? Okay, so far so good, but I do wonder, what do those skulls mean? Okay, that's what they mean, no, 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 that's not good, that's really not good, we're gonna die. Well, at least we know what the skulls mean now. But the Balloonaris has defeated me, so I must go into training for 4,000 years to defeat this balloon once and for all. Max then presses the restart button, and he is ready to fight the Balloonaris. Now that I have learned everything by doing nothing, I am ready. Face me, beast! I do not fear you! I am strong! Give me a Jitsu! I don't know what I should do with my money. Oh yeah, Sticky Bomb! That, that's good! Oh, beans! More ceramics! Don't kill me, please! I'm too young! Ha! Sympathy works. Okay, now what? Oh yeah, Hydro Rocket! Rockets are cool! Damn it, I'm poor! No, don't kill me! I need to make this video about me beating you! Ha! Thank god I bought Marketplace. We're so close to popping it, and we have Hydro Rocket. We should be good! Never mind, slow it down! Okay, we're good now. I have done it! I have beaten the tier 1 boss. Doesn't sound so cool. Well anyway, back to farming. Okay, round 60, tier 2 Balloonarius. Our defense is so much better, we have a crossbow master. And that's it. Okay, it is dying much faster than before, even with 375% more HP. Oh, more ceramics. Ha, you suck. I'm scared, give me another Hydro Rocket. I think we're fine. Crossbow Master is pretty good, and we are fine. Now that the tier 2 boss has fallen to some crossbow bolts, we can now return to a life of greed, and more greed. You know, maybe I should buy one of those Paragons. Give me an Ultra Jug and I will do nothing with it until I have enough money to afford a basement in LA. And the hell with it, Super Monkey Fan Club. I hope there's no Super Monkey only fans. Otherwise, Rule 34 arts are gonna celebrate like they won a world war, or contributed nothing to society. Anyway, tier 3 boss time, holy crap, 350k HP, that's like 6 baths worth of RB. I don't think we have enough firepower to fight this. I guess this is the end of the road. Oh wait, mad. Sell, sell, give me money. There we go, we got this. Oh my god, mob, never mind. I don't know how I forgot about mad. That's like forgetting your rule 34 arse while being told you contribute nothing to society. But all I know is I should buy a Sabo. Just a bit more damage on this thing and boom, tier 3 is dead. Man, I wish there was water on this map. Just imagine getting 36 first strikes and destroying the blue nearest in 4 seconds. That'd be great. But for now, buy more farms because I need money to afford that Plasma Master Apex thing. Okay, now we have Plasma Fan Club and look, Paragon Upgrade enabled. Stuff, stuff, stuff. Okay, I don't care. I already know all this. What's a Paragon? Alright, round 100. We almost have 140k and the boss has 750k HP. I don't think we need to sell for a Paragon. Nope, ZMG, sell everything right now, we need a Paragon. Okay, buy it, and boom, Dirt Paragon. I think it's doing damage. Okay, it is doing damage. And with that being said, the tier 4 boss has been defeated. But I have no farms and no idea what that 9 means. Well, I know now, but past me doesn't. And it means you have 9 stalkers watching your every move. And now I'm one of them! So next time you hear a sound at night, don't worry, it's just your neighbor throwing his trash at the perfectly normal time of 4am. I wonder what the Elite Blunaris will have. Maybe we'll have lasers to fight back or we'll duck monkeys like Jeffrey Epstein and Duck's children. One more round before we have to take on the tier 5 Blue Nares. Give me an overclock to super buff my expo from Clash Royale. Now let's see what true destruction looks like. Now what do you mean I can't overclock it? Fine, overclock my mad in just in time for the boss. Oh my god, 3 million health. But it is going down quickly. We got this. Jeez, it spawns a bad. But Dark Paragon exists, so we're okay. Face me, you fool. You are no match. Okay, what do I do? What do I do? What should I buy? What should I buy? I don't know. You are no match for my spiky plasma balls. You shall return to the swamp from where you came from. I am too strong for you. After yelling into my mic for several minutes like an autistic kid, we have done it. 
The blue nearest has returned to the seventh layer of hell from where it came from, and I have asserted my dominance as a superior being. And we have also unlocked the elite blue nearest. But first, we must claim our rewards, and there are a bunch. Jeez, three achievements and a daily reward, it's like Christmas too, elf labor wasn't enough. Let's get side to hopefully make the blue nearest feel bad about killing a small child, and for that sick psionic scream ability. Okay, same map, I want to start with the boomerang this time, because I want that paragon thing, okay let's go! All we do is get side, buy a farm, and continue our journey as before. Okay, one round before the boss spawns in. I hope we're fine, oh my god we're not fine, Hydro Rocket save us! What do we do? Side doesn't even work on the boss! Wait... What is that? You're, you're ugly, you can't beat me, I have beans. And that's it. Oh no, the boss can speak. That's worse than like lasers or monkey consumption. Okay, with two rocket storms, I think we're still gonna die. But I need it, oh my god, please, please have mercy upon my soul. Yeah, we're gonna die. Then the blue nearest asserted its dominance and killed me with watermelon dipped in beans and with 30k health still left. I now know that the blue nearest has no remorse for children. Let's try again, but this time with Churchill, because Galactic Tank Form, Lightspeed Ultra Mega Strike, and Super Holy Crap Knock Your Socks Off Missiles are better than a singular child. Now I bet you know what's gonna happen, so let me just speed it up. Hell yeah, we speedy. And okay, we're back to round 39. Okay, now what? Maybe Hydro Rocket? Oh yeah, Sticky Bomb, it just needs to attack 100 times to pop it. That's a good idea. Jesus, this balloon's like a humongous pimple. All it's good at is just being very annoying. I am faster than the Arizona Ranger. Oh crap, Feel I'm sorry about that, I'm sorry, sorry! Then I died again. Yeah, it turns out the Elite Blue Nearest is much harder than the regular boss. I tried so many times, and died so many times, just so I could not pop the world's largest pimple. And now it's gone. Now what? Oh, it's back. But I have to beat the normal boss again. Let me do that real quickly. Oh, Beans, it's a different map. Well, I heard Ben's pretty good, so let's just use Ben, alright, let's go! Yo, what's up guys? Today I just murdered a balloon for money. Can we get 41 likes on this video? And YouTube tells me only 2.5% of you guys have subscribed. Wait, what was I doing? Oh yeah, now we get to fight the Elite Balloon Aries with Ben, and this time we use BRFs instead of marketplaces. You know what's gonna happen, so let's skip to the first boss. Our defense here is pretty good. All I need is a Morglaive to top it all off. Oh, that's not good. Eat my oh, Gluteus geez. Maximus. Okay, back to round 40 for the fourth time. I think everything's going good. Oh crap, everything's out of range. Quick, stick bump! With the right amount of adhesive explosives, we can pop the first tier of the boss. Now let us finance our factory so I can get money. Alright, tier 2 boss, we have attack zone. And that's it. So we should be able to deal 300k. Sticky bomb. Yeah, we don't have enough damage, so Avatar of Wrath it is, with more more glaives and sticky bombs. Wait, there's water. First strike time! Let's see what nuclear warheads I can launch before the UN gets involved. Okay, the first strikes are helping, and we should be able to deal 80k damage. We got this! Just get more and more glaives to be safe, and we're done. Sell everything unimportant to buy more farms. Wait, three rounds before round 80? We barely have any money! Ha, you suck. Shut it! Okay then, round 80. We have some extra druids, but that won't help, so we need money for a mad. Alright, we now have a mad, and I should probably also buy a homeland. After some repetition with the mad ability, homeland, and overclock, we beat the tier 3 boss. Four rounds before round 100! Man, you really suck. No, I have a question. How do you deal 8 million damage when you're poor? That's right, you don't! So we died to a ceramic, not even the big boss. Man, the balloon air just sucks. Hey, at least I didn't have to do much. Okay, this time, let's use banks. I heard they're pretty good when the banana market's good, and from what I can see, it's, uh, uh, good enough. Let's be very speedy and skip to round 40. Taxon and Morglaze versus Balloon Aris. Who will win, monkey? Round 60. Slightly better defense versus Balloon Aris. We're gonna die. Time for Mad. Boom. Dead. Round 80. Avatar of Wrath and Mad versus Blonaris. Use Homeland, Overclock, and Mad ability. No more Big Blonde. And we were able to farm and listen to chicken sounds. A few rounds before round 100, and we could probably afford a temple. But we need Legend, Anti Balloon, 50k of each category, and 500k for the temple. Otherwise known as Big Money. Okay, we have everything ready, and we're 70k sure. Ha, <laughs> imagine being bad God enough. damn it. Okay, I'll sell this and sell that. Alright, we have enough money. It's go time. Please work. Please work. Yes! Okay, we have Vengeful. The only problem is the boss still has 7 million health. You can't beat me. I have a gun. But with Homeland, Overclock, and Permabrew, we beat the tier 4. Again, 3 rounds before round 120. I don't think this is gonna work, but we must keep going forward. Off a cliff. Just get all the support towers like Cripple Moab, Super Brittle, and all the damage towers like Elite Defender, Mad, Avatar Wrath, and other stuff that I can't see. Come on, more projectiles! If we lag the game hard enough, we can still win! You know what? Screw it! First Strike, Pyro Lord, I don't even care anymore! 18 million health still left. 
There's no way we can win now. Imagine looking into the banana market, you dumb idiot. Come on, just five million more. Please, please, no. Then I played again and asserted my dominance on a balloon with my voice, but deeper. Remember, kids, don't let your balloon doppelganger overtake you. Kill them and post it on YouTube.